Uh, good afternoon, it's Wag Chicago. It's uh, what the hell's today? Still the 18th, June. All right, we're gonna do a little story today in pictures, kind of. Let's see here. I just posted a oh, no, no, I don't want that. Anyways, we're gonna do a uh. You say, you know, they say there's a, a, a picture's worth a thousand words, right? Well, we're going to see how many words are in this picture. I did a meme today, kind of. Uh, ten parts. So, uh, I'll show you here in a second. I'm scrolling through. This is my Facebook channel. Forward slash Scott Wagner dot 7370, I guess is the name of it. Whatever. Um, in case I ever get popped off with this, I got two strikes right now, so this channel could be gone anytime. And I got the backups, etc. But you can find me here at least if you do want to continue watching. All right, so last night, Monograph's channel, and the reason I'm saying this is well, one, he, he helps us learn to fight the algorithm, but and much more. But if we didn't know how to speak not freely anymore, um, most of us that are left wouldn't be here no more. And uh, it's just a matter of time. Anyways, I started my day off earlier, and this is how I want. This is the reason I want to bring this up. the 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 way this ether, whatever this is, works. I'm leaving the screen on today because whatever the background looks cool, and it's not a screen saver or whatever. That's real trees um anyways pictures memes got to be worth more than a thousand words and when you do a 10-part meme maybe it's worth more you know a couple more than a thousand but i thought this is this is how things spark off so the theory your theory about the you know c word up there i don't want to say it trying to you know with humanity Etc. You would act like it's written in stone or something. Well, it is actually in Georgia. It's called the Georgia, you know. What do you got when you go on a guide? You know, you take a guided tour. So I don't even know if I can say the word. I don't usually report on this. I'm just saying this is how the, the ball got rolling today. And you never know. This is the other creepy thing for those who know what I'm talking about. It's only going to be like 1% of the people, literally, maybe 2% total based on nothing but your personality and etc you'll know what i'm talking about if you know very few people have certain uh they're like <laughs> whatever so anyways it starts out like this monograph does a show yesterday and i'm gonna link it here in the notes or in the comment you know i'll post it at the top you should go watch it and if you're new to the research you'll like his channel because he also can speak in pictures Let's call it. So I thought I would take after I saw the stone thing and what he's talking about, and then it all just snowballed. So anybody who's been doing news on the sticky juices, we'll call them. You look at your screen. There's multiple, about four that I've seen. That's so why I went and I dug these pictures up. All this I found on the Internet real quick. Because it comes out of your head, or my head, anyway. So my question is going to be, well, you'll see. So here's how the meme starts out. This is why I want to make a video, because it's 10 segments long, and there's no way I could repost this in a, in a, you know. So why is there four caps? Four. Remember the number four, because it's going to come back to this. So you start out, why is there four of these caps? different colored caps that's weird or not so then monograph last night and he's talked about this as well before but see this is my point when you have a spider web for a brain the stuff pops so then when he talked about something last night which i'm going to show you here frequency in the greek alphabet let's call it you'll see right here alpha beta gamma delta etc gamma you know See here on the picture, I, I, I'm going to, hang on, let me make this a little bigger. I'm going to ex just show you the pictures. I'm not going to try to talk as much. I want you to see this. So what I did, the first of all, these are the notes. Just so you see my process. When I start pasting, p 
pasting on the Facebook. A lot of times I'm doing show notes. And sometimes the show never comes together because I end up moving forward because I'm always forward. And sometimes it just it ends up in the dust. And it's sad because uh, it probably would have been good. Or maybe it wouldn't have been. Who knows? But here's the Greek alphabet. So those notes I just showed you here, that's like a clipboard. I uh, paste it, bing, 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 bing. And then later I go back and then I start making my memes. I don't even know if these are memes. If I'm taking other people's photos and then making a story, that may not even be a meme anymore because this I'm not making fun of anybody. This is actually to teach somebody something if you're willing to learn. If you're not, then don't worry about it. So remember the alpha, delta, uh, theta, et cetera. You know. So then the next meme, if you call it a meme, even I don't think these are called memes. Maybe we got to have a new term. Let's go to human brain waves. What's that got to do with the Greek alphabet? You ask or not? Maybe you don't ask. Most people wouldn't. Well, we do. A Spurgs out here, uh, the whack a moles. You know what I'm saying? So then you look up human brain waves. You got gamma, beta, alpha, theta, and delta. Those are the ones they track when they stick those little sticky things. No pun intended to the icky sticky G juices. I can't say that word probably. Uh, starts with G, ends in I'd. Let's say G E N O. I'm making fun of the word Gen O, and then like apple cider. If you could paste that together, you're talking in memes. Now you're talking in memes, is what my opinion. Oh man! So you got gamma waves, beta waves, and the frequency listed below. So 25 to 1,000 or 100 hertz, etc., all the way down to delta waves, which are 0.5 to 4 hertz. Does anybody? Oh, I'm not gonna talk. You're going to see. Hang on. I'm jumping ahead. This actually is a good uh, lesson for me to stay focused. Because sometimes I spur out. So then the next meme goes, you got the alphabet in Greek. You got frequencies in your brain. What else could that lead to? Well, look up. Anybody seen? I seen it a couple weeks ago on a Saturday night at 10 o'clock at night. Posted on the tweets and the F book. Those stupid satellites went overhead. So you can get faster porn, you know, those kind. Remember the fiber? Here's the fiber right here. That's a 60 gigahertz transmitter uh, antenna right there on the bottom left. There's a fiber antenna. And then a little symbol makes you make sixes, which is the balance of the world, six and nine, etc. And then here's your satellites over the world. Those are actually the Elon satellites. That's their map. They got a lot more up there than you guys even know about. Why? Don't know yet. I think I know. So then let's add in the next meme. This is a meme that goes in order. I do side or side sounds, you know what I mean? So then you got these two jamokes. Take a good look at their eyes. When I was doing videos saying that the icky sticky fluids or juices started making people look different to me i wasn't kidding and then later on you get this kind of garbage if you look up the eyeballs of people like under psychiatry anybody who does this with their eyes naturally is is uh you know different let's call it because i don't want to you know i don't want to be racist or anything so or whatever you call these terms now i don't give a shit what you call these terms because in the old days you could speak freely but I don't want to lose my channel, which I don't think I have a choice eventually. But so you get what I'm saying, right? You got to think in pictures nowadays because you're not going to be allowed to talk anymore. So I suggest you all start doing some homework on how the right brain think it's called sliding it in or not. Then you're going to be lost. So you got the icky sticky uh, non GMOs, let's call it humans. They're ex whatever you call these people. I don't know what you call them anymore. But you know what? People are acting really weird, by the way. And when you look, this ain't one set of pair of eyes or whatever you call this. But are they goofing around? That look up the eye. I posted it, by the way. If you were on my Facebook news, you would have saw the day I posted this. And I also posted the psychological chart of crazy eyes, let's call it. Isn't that a uh, Indian and in, uh what was that? Indian and in, uh what was that Wild West? It doesn't matter. Anyways, so then, because the monograph, he, he touched on this. So it pops back in. 
That's an electromagnetic field on the bottom left. That's real important. Or not. <laughs> but the old, uh, I'm not even going to say. It's kind of important right now because of these uh, challenges going on. And then we got a little picture. You, you, you know what these are? These are called little fibers. I can't say this word either, by the way. I've been popped twice doing exact word-for-word -word scientific PubMed study. I got popped for talking about this. So I'm not going to say it. Read your screen. Or don't. Well, never mind, don't. So my point is you mix FE, if you know your periodic table. If not, it's written right below. It starts with an I. It has the name Ron after it. I, Ron. Not the I, Ron, the country. The one in your blood. Look up FE. Google it. <laughs> oh, my. If you know anybody who's had any blood work done recently, <laughs> since like I, or November of last year, December, and they're not feeling good, ask them how their red counts in the cell sizes. There's a lot of people now saying they're, they're not saying it's coming up on the reports that the red blood cells are too young which means you're not getting oxygen <laughs> oh shit that's for another video but it's out there now so oh my screen's acting up here it's hot out here um part seven here shows the icky sticky fluids going into a karachi ball and a picture of iron. Do you see the theme going on? Like, you can, can can you feel it? Probably not. So then I go, let's circle back. That lets you know I'm taking a break and coming back around to what did we start with? Or not. Brain waves. Delta, gamma, beta, alpha. What's that got to do with anything? Well, take a close look at this. Again, he went over this last night. I'm just putting it in a picture form now. New names for the severe, those, <laughs> the very ants, very and ants, let's call it, have the same name as your brainwaves. <laughs> oh, my. What could that mean? B117 Alpha, UK version, September 2020. Beta, B1351, South Africa, May 2020. Gamma, gamma, that's a brainwave. And it's also a variant, P1 it's called, Brazil, November 2020. And then you got the delta wave, B16172 out of India's, India, whatever you call it, October 2020. You mean to tell me since October 2020, there ain't been a new Greek alphabet to pop up in the old variant? Because there's no flu no more, there's no cancer no more, there's no heart disease no more. I don't know where that came from. All right. So then I'm just going to shut up there because I don't want to get. In. The algo is angry. So as we circle back. Oh, what am I doing here? Where did I go? Hang on. My computer is getting hot outside here. Um, so as we're circling back, then we go from the alpha, beta, gamma, delta. Brain waves. See the pictures here? Back to the old magnetic field with the electricity hooked up to it. Back to now. Look what I did here. So then you start naming it. Here's a purpose. I don't know what these are, but I'm asking in a way. Alpha, beta, delta. Get It's perfect match. Four, right? So I said in the beginning, four color tops that I've seen. Maybe there's more. Maybe I'm stupid. But I've been doing this research for a long time. I just don't recall it. And I recall things like that very easily. Four brain waves, also called alpha, beta, delta, gamma. Huh. Weird. So then, we get down to my conclusion. Conclusion I post, what is, that's me, by the way. What is this connection? Question mark. A couple times over. Four tops plus four variants. This is how I usually do my memes, by the way. Just this one piece. Four tops plus four variants plus four brainwaves. 
and I would normally do equals whatever, but I don't know what it equals yet because this is still a mystery. Special thank you to Monty and the whack-a-moles around his channel. The interwebs will understand that. You guys don't need to because it's the ether. You don't want to get it. Like-minded people is... Uh, it, it's weird. It's just weird. And then we come up with the same topic sometimes or whatever. And then sometimes something pops up and then we all have pops in our head with the spider web. And then boom, somebody comes up with a video. Or I've had this happen a lot in the last two years. I'll do a video. A guy in North Dakota does a video and a guy in Boston does a video. And we all put them up within the, within an hour of each other. Maybe sometimes at the same time, it seemed like. And we don't talk to each other personally. And how did you get all get the same idea at the same time? That's happened a lot in the last 18 months. And especially now. Why? That's a whole nother video. And watch Monogar's channel. He talked about that the other day, too. So my question then is, now do your homework assignment. Solve this riddle. Because it's definitely a riddle. And a link to his video here where he went over this that started my spurging out session that you're watching right now. So now you all know a little glimpse inside the pictures in some people's heads. This is why Chicago have a great day.